Steam has released a game called, which as the name suggests, is a prison simulator. It's worth noting that the project was liked by most of the players who appreciate it. As of its writing, Prison Simulator has more than 80% positive reviews. On the occasion on the front release, the developers published a live action trailer showing a sand prison riot. In Prison Simulator, the player will have to intimate the life of a prison guard. At the same time, gamers are allowed to independently decide how to act in certain situations. With the built in editor, you can create expressive prisoners. During the passage, players will have to search for the contraband, hone shooting skills, clean weapons, pump muscles, and of course, interact with the prisoners. You can buy Prison Simulator now on Steam for. Don't you worry about that, guys. I will leave all the links in the description. So, pour the glass of tea into your cup and just sit and relax. In big game, Prison Simulator, one of the most ominous spaces the public opens to be lived and played in. The game offers the chance to don the uniform a prison guard. There are patrol prison hosting dangerous criminals put behind bars for nefarious activities. The game offers two modes: new game, which has a story, and the free play. Players can choose among a number of difficulties. The hardest level available is the Merciless. It's similar to Pair Demand, except not only you die, your save files die too. Once the difficulty is selected, the game asks the player to name their prison and create the prisoners. In total, 16 prisoners can be made. Their names, voices, bodies, faces, and skin tones can be customized. This provides players with the silly little option of naming people they want to send to prison, as the developers say everything but celebrities or politicians. There is also the option of randomizing all of these. Next is the gang creator. There is a possibility to three gangs and the player has to choose a logo, name and which prisoner is the part of which gang. Like the previous option, this can also be randomized. Confirm and the game kicks in with a bit of montage intro. Being a prison guard. The main duty of the player is to carry out the daily duties assigned to them each day. After completing each task, players are allowed time off. They can spend the time doing a number of different available activities. Player can work out, practice ice shooting guns or play darts with a colleague. They can also skip the time by sitting on a bench. The game has a respect system. Players have a certain percentage of respect from the guards and another number from the prisoners. Various actions after these numbers. Failing too far with the guards would get the player tired. Prisoners not respecting enough would stay a riot. Various duties recycle from day to day. Players are asked to do a morning or evening attendance call where they walk around with a clicker and note everyone percents against the list. Prisoners are to be taken to the workshop and given tools to work with the during the activity. Some of them may slack and some may get violent. Players can reprimand them or physically knock them out. Prisoners are also sometimes taken to the yard. Another task described to guard is clean different parts of the prison. The map has other rooms and most of them are irritable. As a guard, the player also must check the contrabands in the prisoner's cells on them. When all tasks are done, go to the briefing room to report the officer. They allow the player to end the day and give a report of how the activity has affected the guard pay and respect. In a prison simulator, the player can toe the line by acting naturally or go overboard on either side. They can side with the prisoners by turning a blind eye to the activities and the contraband, or they can beat up the inmates for absolutely no reason at all. Throughout this cycle, they take the prison to the top of the leaderboard. While the prison simulator shines in this element of bravery and fun, in a few few hours, the different activities that fill up the gameplay actually make the player feel like they are acting as a correction officer. They have to inspect package that arrive to the prisoners and make them sure they don't have any illegal stuff. Guns are also to be cleaned and stored properly. Broken cameras are to be fixed. Prison simulators have done a native job for this. Each part of the gun is to do this time an individual polished, wiped and cleaned. It really dials up the reality of these activities. 
The punishment can be met out to the passengers for bad behavior also managed to showcase the difficulty of dealing with the criminals and the land that one has to go in force rules. Players can confine prisoners to cell, take away their phone privilege and the worst put them in solitary. The game has also a death road and execution room. The experience of leading a man towards his death, strapping on them, asking them final words and then flipping the switch in a surreal moment. <coughs> Prison Simulator has a lot of potential, the developers have gotten the basic right. One gets to enjoy many of the different jobs and aspects of the prison guard. One can take a bribe from a prisoner or bribe from a guard if they catch the player doing something illegal. Prison Simulator also provides lively places like the canteen, yard and kitchen. But beyond the first few hours, Prison Simulator runs stale. The repetitive action, the mumbling drones and the airy quiet of the prison drown fun once the player gets settled in. The Settle in. The game needs to introduce variability to behaviors and movements of the inmates. More consequences to the action of the guard should also be included. With the patches and fixed coming in, the developers will fill the Prison Simulator with much more content to interact with and enjoy. Until then, the game remains fun-filed ride that runs out of the gas after a while.